Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Now at 7, police robots with the potential for deadly force. The SFPD policy just considered by San Francisco supervisors allowing robots to kill suspects in certain critical situations. There's been a lot of talk about RoboCop or, you know, which I think sets, you know, a whole lot of minds going to a whole lot of different places. This is KTVU Fox 2 News at 7 on KTVU Plus. And that controversial plan just passed about an hour ago in an 8 to 3 vote. Welcome everyone to the 7 here on KTVU Plus. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Greg Lee. Those police robots will be allowed to use potentially deadly force. The plan's drawn criticism from civil liberties advocates. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee reports. San Francisco police asking for approval by the Board of Supervisors to use robots like this one as a potential deadly force option. That means military grade machines operated by trained officers could potentially kill suspects during critical incidents. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Robocop or, you know, which I think sets, you know, a whole lot of minds going to a whole lot of different places, but this is this is not that. San Francisco Supervisor Rafael Mandelman supports using robots for specific life-threatening cases. In fact, I think it would be irresponsible not to make some kind of plan to use that technology in that horrific eventuality. It's really just opening a window that eventually somebody's going to want to crawl through. Matthew um, Goriglia, a policy analyst with the Electronic Frontier Foundation, says it doesn't make sense to give robots the ability to kill. We are going to lessen the burden of, of using deadly force from having to pull a gun and, and pull the trigger to a button on a remote control. SFPD already has 17 robots, and none of them have live ammunition. But the department is considering using a robot with explosives attached as a way to get into a building with violent armed suspects barricaded inside. In a statement, SFPD said in part, while an explosive charge may be considered an intermediate force option, it could potentially cause injury or be lethal. Robots equipped in this manner would only be used in extreme circumstances to save or prevent further loss of innocent lives. The discussion in San Francisco comes just a month after the Oakland Police Commission decided against a policy that would have allowed OPD to use robots with shotguns. In Dallas, a robot armed with explosives was used by police to kill a man suspected of shooting and killing five police officers in 2016. Transport the robot to the scene. Supervisor Hillary Ronan spoke out against authorizing lethal force for robots, saying she thinks this is an incredibly dangerous route to go. In San Francisco, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.